All right, today you guys are watching me put together the banana pudding candle. Um, right now I have it in double speed. I'm simply painting um, the bananas. I use Parasoy 650 for my embeds. And I use, I believe that's a cappuccino brown. I mix it with a little bit of black. Normally I use just a regular brown, but I'm all out of it. And so I tried to get the brown just a little bit darker because it will fade over time. The embeds, um, I make my own mold, so you'll have to watch the video in order to see the mold making. I do have a video posted a few weeks ago of how to make the molds. But what you see for the natural look of the banana is actually the banana has a little opening or slit in it once you cut it. And so you see that the paint is going to go down into the little um, hole there. Not all of your bananas are going to have the exact detail that you want. But once you see the way that I construct the banana, I mean, excuse me, yeah, construct the banana pudding candle, then you'll see that you don't need all of the details um, in every single banana. So I kind of search through the bananas. I only want to use a few that have um, really good detail and the rest you're just going to um, see the sides of the banana so it really won't matter and again all I'm doing is painting the side with the most detail and wiping it off with a paper towel I got the paintbrush from the Dollar Tree I think five came in excuse me the dollar 25 tree I think five came in the pack Please don't talk about my outfit today. It has been a long weekend. My husband and my kids are in a car accident. Everybody's fine, but the car is all disabled. And then my grandmother's in the hospital. And this is my therapy. So I think I have on cheetah and purple and some weird pattern sweatpants that are very comfortable. So. And I'm trying to show you the detail of this banana and you just can't see it. Oh yeah, and I dropped my camera so the focus is off. I can't swivel it the way I want to. I guess I'll have to watch somebody else's YouTube video to figure out how to fix that. In the meanwhile, this is the best I can do. So I hope you guys can see the little bit of detail um, that's visible on camera. All right, so again, I set my um, wax outside because it's cold here to just cool down a little bit while I whip it. I do hand whip most of my um, candles, and it's not because for any particular reason other than I normally um, use more of the mousse process. I am going to be doing cupcake candles and a few other candles, so I will be using a, a hand mixer, but for right now, for what I need, I just use the um, by hand method. It wasn't quite ready yet, so I'm going to go ahead and just drop my um, wafer pieces inside of the mason jar. I did wick the jar with a size 18 um, wick. I think it's an 18 CD wick is what I use. And I'm going to grab a skewer. The skewer I also get from the Dollar 25 tree. I think you can get 100 in the pack. And then I just position them so that once the um, pudding is ready, once I squeeze it out, it's going to slide in between them and keep them in place. All right, looks like my wax is about ready. And that's the moment I knew I had messed up and I didn't have very long. This is regular speed that you're watching now, and it's just so that you can see um, a little bit better. And so now I'm whipping it, and I have to whip it fast because I got chunks in it. It's um, a little bit colder than I would like it to be. It turns out just fine, but there's like a sweet little process and when i say if you make if you want to do the pudding version of it then it has to look like the kind of pudding that you actually get out of the um if you were making it homemade or if you're just buying it from the store in a little pudding cup 
it literally has to be about that consistency or it'll be a little too thick and it won't give you the smooth look that you're looking for. That's Parasoy 600 I use for the um, filling or the pudding. And then those bags I also got from Amazon, the piping bags. I use a, um, the metal opening is just a circle. I don't know exactly which opening it is. I go to Walmart and I just buy a bunch of them because I lose them and misplace them and everything else. Sometimes I don't even use one, but today I use one because I actually took the time to clean out my last piping bag. All right, now you guys are going to see me put the pudding in there. And then you want to hit all the corners so that it's covered. And then I just kind of pound the jar um, down a little bit. That's kind of the look that I like. You go with whatever look you're going for. So this is the part where the details matter. I find the most detailed banana slice and I'm going to sit it upright. Now the rest of the banana slices I lay flat just like you would in a homemade banana pudding. I just drop them in there. Sometimes when you drop them, you may see a little bit of the brown detail, but for the most part, this is the part where they're only going to see the sides of the sliced banana, which are detailed based on the mold that you make. Again, um, the mold making video applies pretty much for anything that I make, except for sometimes I have to freeze stuff and bananas is one thing that I had to freeze or it'll be just nasty. <laughs> So I layered them, drop as many as I wanted in there, and then I'm going to put pudding. I try not to put any on the sides there. I keep it more towards the middle, or you're going to cover the detail of the bananas. And again, guys, this is about as thick as I want my pudding to be. You don't want it any thinner. You don't want it to be any thicker. I do not teach you how to make candles um, or show you how to make candles efficiently. I just show you how to make them detailed. <laughs> Because I find that if I try to make more than one or two of these candles at a time, it does not come out the way I want to. And then I'm just going to drop the, um, you saw I dropped the wafers and I kind of put them in on a slant so that once this starts to melt down, it melts down to the sides. And then I just put a little dollop of pudding on top, find my next most detailed banana and put it on top. That's it guys. And I'm going to show you in the next two pictures. That is the banana pudding candle that we made today. And I'll show you, show you a close-up picture of those. It's going to be the first two pictures. Okay, Tasha. Excuse me, Nina. You're doing the most. Alright. So that is our finished product for the day. And then that last one is the very first one I made. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.